Hi. Now for this question, we're given that a particle P of mass 2 kilograms is moving with a velocity of I minus 4J meters per second when it receives an impulse of 3I plus 6J newton seconds. And we've got to find the speed of P immediately after the impulse is applied for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you th slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now to do this you've got to be familiar with the fact that an impulse is equal to change in momentum. In other words, the impulse, let's just say we call it I, it's a vector quantity and the change in momentum will be the final momentum mv minus the initial momentum mu where v and u are vectors. So it's just a question now of substituting our values into this equation and solving it for v, the velocity vector, and then we can go on and find the magnitude of the velocity vector to get the speed. So doing that, then all we've got to do then for i, that's going to be 3i plus 6j. So 3i then plus 6j. And it's equal to the mass, which is 2 kilograms. So it's 2 times the velocity vector, the final velocity vector, minus 2 times the initial velocity, which was i minus 4j. And if we expand the brackets, we've got, first of all, though, 3i plus 6j equals 2v. And expanding the bracket here gives us minus 2i plus 8j. And if we add 2i and subtract 8j from both sides, we end up with 2v equaling 5i minus 2j. And if we now divide both sides by 2, the final velocity v is equal to 5 over 2i, or 2.5i, minus j. Now we're just after the speed, so that speed is given by the magnitude of our velocity vector, which is going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the component. So you've got 5 over 2, all squared, plus 1 squared. And that comes to an exact value of 29 over 4 to root. And square rooting the top is root 29. Square root of the bottom is 2. So that's the exact speed. If you don't want to give the exact speed, you can give an approximation to this. If you work this out as a decimal, it's 2.692 and so on. And rounded, say, to three significant figures, that's 2.69. And units will be meters per second, and it's to three significant figures. 3SF for short. All right?